all right so let's start by creating new flutter project and yeah so let me just click on new flutter project and click on next then here you can give some title for your uh, app so i'm going to give not keeper and then uh, you can keep the default option as it is so then finish it all right this will create new flutter project for us and yeah i think it should not take much time and yeah let me just close this readme file and open project file then here we have all the project here so yeah so what i'm going to do now is that i'm just going to create a package folder that we are going to use in this uh, app so right click new directory so it will be screen where we have all the screen here and then we also have a uh, uh, database all right where we can keep all the files related to database and one more thing which is a util package utility package and yeah and now let me just uh, run our emulator all right so actually i can wipe this data and run it again don't worry about this all right so while it is running uh, let's create few file let me just remove this okay so what screen we will have so we will have a screen called uh, file let me just uh, we will have a not list file so not list page okay and it will be nothing but a, a not list so not list page where we will have all the you know uh, notes list okay so let me just import material dot dot and just careful okay and also we need sorry we need uh, not detail page as well so let me just add not detail page dot dot as well all right stateful widget and it will be a not a detail page right so oops spelling yeah not detail page and import material dot dot and this will be just a scaffold all right so come back to main dot dot we will be having all this default class i'm just gonna remove uh, this my home page we don't want that and i'll also remove this comment all right and instead of my home page i'm going to make it let me just delete whole thing all right and it will be uh, default you want to display not list page all right so when app runs this page will load first and here we can give some uh, body to this all right for now let's just display mm, text okay saying hello world all right so this is the default app that we have and yeah so let me just uh, run the app all right to see and yeah while it is running let's discuss about uh, the package that we are going to use here just go to pubstack.yml and come here where we have dependency go to browser so yeah so we are going to use a drift or moor package initially it was called moor now they have renamed to drift for some reason and we are going to use this package and this is because we i mean this drift package support almost all platform that means this not app that we are going to make can support almost every platform all right with one code and let me just grab this uh, package and paste it right below the dependency drift all right so we are going to use drift version 111 and yeah and then we will also use provider and those of you who don't know uh, provider and don't want to learn provider don't worry we are not going to use that uh, heavily so we'll use for the database purpose and then we also need intel package this is for to format you know date and time so we need this as well and the last one is a stagger grid view uh, to display in the list view manner we need we need this as well yeah and now i think wait i think it's still building and we are getting some other error as well here uh, don't worry so i think because of duplicate i guess and then what else do we need here is that uh 
i think we forgot intel package for date and time so let me just paste it okay now we can close this package all right uh, now uh, to implement drift or more in your uh, this thing we can go to home page and then we can see learn more and here you can see getting started and yeah we, we will have to add few more package here as you can see down here so this is uh, for you know uh, a path provider and uh, all which we will discuss in some time let me just copy this and paste it right below this all right path provider path and then under drift dependency we have this as well so let me just uh, yeah paste this also and both uh, drift dev and drift should match so we are going to use 111 version so it will be 1111 version yeah and if i run pub get let's uh, i mean it will start downloading uh, package so we are seeing some conflict here so we are supposed to use 180 for now all right so this should fetch all the package then okay so i think it is it yeah it is done so let me just run the app still there's no change in the ui we will we should get hello world without any error and yeah these are the package which we have added and as i mentioned before this trip provider and this four are the uh, major uh, package that we are using then internally we will also have to use sqlite path provider and path and you know this is because you know sqlite 3 we need it for android and ios uh, database since it uses sqlite 3 then path provider and path is to find suitable location for our app database and this drift dev and build runner is to generate code so more will generate or drift will generate some uh, boilerplate code for us so that i will explain in uh, later videos all right so this is what we are going to have and yeah that's all the package you need to know you can actually close this all right and let's wait for the, our application whether we are getting error or not okay so yeah i think it is working fine we should get hello world anytime now yeah so we got the hello world also so project setup is done and in the next video we will try to add font to our application since we are going to use the uh, separate font that's all guys so you can also uh, get this source code from the github i'll provide link in the description yeah see you in the next one